children of God, praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning to your career. Good morning to your destiny. Good morning to your marriage. And win today. Win forever. I want you to know that God is merciful and humble. God can never abandon his own. And God can never forsake his own. Before I proceed in these prayers, I want to give you a little testimony of what happened as I came to this mountain, as I, the day I arrived in the mountain. As I arrived on this mountain, that was on Wednesday. Wednesday being 22nd of this very month, the month of March. Something happened. Where they gave me as a lodge, a place that I can put my items, the room, the key was bad. The handle of the key was broken. The one that was inside. So as I was bringing things inside, I left my phone, my Bible on the seat that was at the door post of the room outside. As I came inside, the breeze, the air, pushed the door and locked up the door. I never knew that the door is bad. As I turned around, after dropping the things, I turned around to come out of the room. I found out the door has been locked. So I'm assuring you that whatever I'm going to say today, the angels is already on ground to perfect it. All you need is to put your faith in the mind. God is real. God is real. God is powerful. God is wonderful. He's going to answer your prayers. When I say to you, send me, your prayer point. I have 100% assurance for you that you are going to receive. So as many of you that have sent your prayer, part, your prayer point, I say congratulations. And as many of you that, has, that is yet to send your prayer point, 
I say congratulations. Because these prayers are not going to be time bound. Whenever you come across these prayers and you put your faith in the mind, surely, I say surely, God who answers prayer, God of prophet T.B. Joshua will surely answer you. Remember, my God is a God of wonder. My God is a God of wonder. He do exceedingly more than I can require. I want you to know that God can do more than you think. God can do more than you think. I don't see anything that God cannot do. But I'm assuring you, put your faith in the mind. Because you are going to have an angelic visitation. The angels that walk with Prophet Ishiyahu will visit you. I don't know what that might be your problem. I just want to measure you. Maybe you are barren. Maybe you are jobless. Maybe you are suffering abject poverty. Maybe enemies are against you. Maybe you are sick. You, 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 are, you have been afflicted by the enemy. Let me tell you something. I don't know. Maybe you are imprisoned. I don't know the kind of prison. I don't know how many, what you have been passing through. Quarrel, misunderstanding your marriage. Yes, maybe your children is behaving abnormal. I don't know. But because you have sent your prayer point to me, today by the authority that is in the name of God who has called me, remember I was not called because I'm better than you. Remember, I was not called because I can pray. Remember, I was not called because I can preach more than you know. Moses was not good. He was not the man that fit for what he was called for. But it was the favor of God. It was the mercy of God. It was God that found him. I want to assure you, God is going to find you today. As God has found me, he's going to find you. God found me. And God brought me. The day he took his servant. Let me tell you, it was a privilege from God. It was a privilege. Remember, I never thought of going there. But God said, go there. I'm about to take my child home. My servant. So I was there by the mercies of God. It was not because I am perfect than you. It is not because I am greater than you. It is not because I know it more than you. No. It is the mercy of God. You need the mercy of God. Your heart determines if God will have mercy on you. Think about your heart. And it is that the same heart that will make you to receive today. The state of your heart. Whom is God in that heart? Whom is God in that heart? Who is Jesus on, in that heart? Does that heart recognize Jesus? Does he obey Jesus? If true, he obey Jesus. Think less about it. You have already received. So what I'm saying today, your predicament, your situations today, will not escape the anointing of our Lord Jesus Christ. That thing you have been passing through, that situation, that thing that has caused you sleepless night, you have prayed, you have fasted, but still, they are still there. I am sending an angel, and I declare, receive it now. May this angel, that perfect miracle, partner with you. May this angel come to sort out your predicament. May this angel come right away and deliver you from what you are passing through. Remember, I don't need to call their names. But these prayers are for you. When you believe, it is for you. Yes, it is for what you have sent for me. What you have sent to me in your text messages. 
through your social medias. I say receive it. Receive the angel that will help you out. You are free in the name of Jesus. You are set loose in the name of Jesus. You are healed in the name of Jesus. You are delivered in the name of Jesus. You are free by the authority in the name of Jesus. I declare that that situation will never escape the anointing of God. No way. He will not escape the anointing of God. I release anointing that disgrace the works of darkness. I release anointing that Satan cannot content with. I release anointing that Satan cannot mess up with. I release anointing that will break every protocol of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare this moment. Every haze of demon in your life, today I cast it out. I say, out in Jesus' name. Whatever demonic and evil haze in your life, be broken away in the name of Jesus. I declare may your peace be stable. May your peace flow like a river. I declare open doors. I declare miracles in your marriage. Miracles in your womb. Miracles upon your children. Upon your husband. Upon your wife. Upon your seed. In the name of Jesus. I declare in that your working place. Receive your promotion. I declare receive your job. I declare be favored by God. I declare may the mercy of God locate you wherever you are. I don't care to know whether you are in dungeon. Jesus delivered Peter. He delivered Paul and Silas. Your case is not new to him. I say I present your case before Jesus. May your case be treated by Jesus. May Jesus see and rescue you in Jesus name. Be free. Today, even though if you are in the prison yard, I declare, let angel visit you. Even though you are in agony, may God send his angel to visit you. In the labor room, may God send his angel to visit you. In the theater, may God send his angel to visit you. In your prison, may God send the angel to visit you. In your sick bed, may God send angels to visit you. Yes, in your office, may God send angels to visit you. In your business place, may God send angels to visit you. In your academies, may God send angels to visit you. Yes, in your journey, may God send angels to visit you. Wherever you are on this planet Earth, in as much you believe and put your faith in the mind, I say receive, receive, receive. I declare in the name of Jesus, May your prayer point be answered. May your prayer point be answered. May God bless you richly. May God bless you in abundance. May God open doors for you. May the flow gate of heaven be open unto you. May the flow gate of heaven be open unto you. May the flow gate of heaven be open unto you. May the flow gate of heaven be open unto you. May Jesus prosper you. May Jesus prosper you. May He prosper you in all ratification. In all ratification. In all ratification. In all ratification. May He bless you. May He bless you. May He bless you. May He open the flow gate of heaven. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Do not doubt it. But believe it. Remember. Prophet T.B. Joshua, always don't focus. Be focused, I advise you. Yes, put your faith in the mind. Believe in Jesus. You have received. You shall not testify again for Satan. From this day, you shall give God glory through your testimony. Receive your testimony. Receive your testimony. Jesus is a protocol breaker. Your, all the protocols of darkness in your life have been broken. May the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua answer your prayers. May the God who are choosing Prophet T.B. Joshua and use him mightily, may he do mighty things in your life. Say Amen. Say Amen. Say Amen. Three times. And you have received. You are blessed. For these prayers are irreversible. They are irrevocable. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Be blessed. Because you are highly favored. In Jesus' name. Shalom.